I'm sure you have lots of worries about going back to school. So in this video, we're gonna talk over those worries and what things you can do about them. Each of you will have been affected dramatically differently by lockdown and each of you will respond dramatically differently going back to schools. So there is not gonna be one fits all solution to this. Everybody is going to have a different reaction. And the way that we can get through this is by you, me, each of us being proactive in looking after our mental health and that will help us by coping going back to school better. Now, everyone's experience of lockdown is going to be completely different. Some of you might not have left the house for six months. Some of you might have had a relatively normal life. Some of you might have been worried about the adults at home who are key workers going out to high risk jobs, worried about that they might catch something, that they might die, that they might bring something back into the house and that you might catch it and die. That is an incredibly stressful thing for you to have been living with for months. Maybe you yourself have an underlying condition which meant you had to be shielded for months at a time. And you couldn't see or hug or chat to your friends or family or go outside or do things that are considered normal in our lives. Everyone will have had a different situation. Maybe if you've been chatting constantly, daily to your friendship group Maybe there's somebody who you'd say hi to in school, but you wouldn't chat to them. Maybe that person hasn't spoken to anyone at school for months. And going back into school and seeing lots of people is going to be very, very hard for them. Some of you are going to be worried about money. Worried that once the furlough scheme ends, maybe your parents, you, the adults at home won't have jobs anymore. And then you're not sure how... People are gonna cope, there's gonna be the potential threat of losing homes, having to move homes. The worries are still not over once we get back to school. And when we do get back out of the house and into the school situation, people are gonna be worried about the transmission of the virus when we're in school. There's gonna be the potential for even more school closures, local lockdowns. And then there's gonna be the pressure of catching up with all the school time that you've missed and then worrying about whether there are gonna be center assessed grades or any actual exams this year or even next year. Some of you might have been stuck at home in very unpleasant home environments. Some of you might be stuck at home with too many people, not nice people, or some of you might be completely isolated. And you are not gonna know who that person is by looking at them. You are not going to be able to sit in your form class, look around your class and say, oh, that person's dad shouts a lot, or that person's really worried about their mum, or that person's got so many siblings that they can't get any time quiet to study. Chances are you don't know what people are going through at home. And people aren't going to be displaying this unlike little badges, and people probably aren't going to be talking about how stressed, how sad, how worried they're feeling openly because that's not what we do but it is what we should be doing the most important thing we you i all of us can do at the moment is start actively looking after our mental health so what i mean by that the first thing you can do is talk to people now, I'm going to approach this from two sides, if you're worried about yourself or if you're worried about one of your friends. If you are worried about yourself, talk to either somebody at home, or if you're worried about what's going on at home, talk to a teacher, or if you don't feel you can talk to a teacher, call one of the helplines. Teachers and helplines have all come across situations similar to this before, and people on helplines are expecting phone calls. They have been trained to deal with people who are going through extreme stresses and extreme mental health issues or even people that are just feeling a bit sad and don't really know why they're feeling sad. If you've got the feeling that something in you isn't quite right, if the thought of going to school makes you feel sick or makes you have a panic attack 
or if you're thought of like going home and seeing people just makes you feel so worried that you don't think you can do it then talk to people now if you yourself are fine but you see one of your friends who isn't acting normally maybe they were really chatty before maybe they always put their hand up in class and spoke out about something and now they're just quiet they don't have to look sad they don't have to look worried they don't have to be crying the whole time and doing drama and dramatic things maybe they're just quiet but they're being different to how they normally were maybe somebody looks a lot thinner than they used to maybe somebody who used to pay a lot of attention to how they look have a hair and their makeup maybe they've stopped doing that now these are all changes in the way that somebody is acting which could really um signpost that they are having big problems with their mental health now you could go and talk to that person or maybe just go and have lunch with that person you don't have to have a big conversation with them just go and sit down and have lunch with them or smile at them in the morning and say hello if you don't want to talk to them yourself and ask them what's wrong because that is a big responsibility and i'm not saying that you have to do that then you can go and talk to one of your teachers and say look miss i'm really worried about this person that acting really strangely your teachers can then act on that information now your teachers probably only see you for an hour two hours a week in a group of 30 but if within your form class you're moving around seeing lots and lots of different teachers chances are you see the other students a lot more than the teachers are going to so you are much more likely to be able to identify when somebody is having issues if there's any change in their behaviour so you are going to be the best advocates for each other's mental health now there are lots of things that you can put in place to start looking after yourself actively talking to people like i've mentioned is a good thing but getting out there doing some regular exercise doesn't have to be like going for 5k runs every day it could just be going for a walk it could just be some yoga doing some mindfulness is also going to be really really useful and important if we get all of these habits in place and established by the time we come around to the more stressful situations end of year the exams any more potential lockdowns then hopefully we will have all of these skills ready and in place going back to school is going to be hard going back to school is going to be stressful there is no way we can get around this things are going to be very different when you're back in school they are not going to be what you are used to um but we just need to work together to try and get through this the best that we can i'm going to do as much as i can to help you guys and i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.